One of the things that you find with this industry is that there really is quite a variety of men who use it. And all of these men tend to kind of fit into two categories of things that they're looking for to uh, to work on in their dating life. And I thought I would actually share this with you because I think it's really useful for guys to understand that, you know, that they aren't alone with the decision process that they have and how they might enter one of these categories and then potentially move into the other one later on in life. And that there's not really a right or wrong with it, but certainly if you are a guy who does feel alone and you feel that anxiety with how your dating life is, just know that you're not the only one here and that there are so many other men who want very similar things to you. Category number one that I think most guys uh, will certainly fall into is that you've got the typical guy who has grown up uh, in an environment which has meant that he hasn't been able to have a dating life that he wants. Maybe he's also been very unsociable. Maybe he's not very confident. He has a lot of limiting beliefs in himself and he just struggles to talk to the opposite sex. Maybe he's also lacking a lot of sexual experience. Maybe he has never kissed a girl. Maybe he's never had a girlfriend. Or maybe he's just had some experiences that have left him feeling very unsure what to do when it comes to dating or having relationships. So with those kind of guys, they tend to go in the category of going to a dating coach or joining a dating community because they are looking to be more confident with the opposite sex. They're looking to actually develop those social skills so they can be a better person and they can have a, a date in life. They can be going on lots of dates. They can be having however many kind of uh, sexual experiences and relationships of sorts. But usually those guys are the ones who will then go to a dating coach um, and uh, yeah, they might... Well, you know what? Yeah, they, they'll, they'll kind of stick around in the dating community for a longer period of time. So that would be category number one, which I think most men that I've met over the years will kind of like fall into that bracket. But then you've got the second category. And this one is the one where you've got guys who have a great date in life. They are going on lots of dates. They are meeting lots of attractive women, but they just don't know how to transition that into having a relationship and a long-term relationship at that you know and those are the guys who tend to be they're already quite sociable they're already uh very good with women they've got the confidence they've got the self-esteem but they just don't know how to keep someone around and that could be a case that maybe you know if I think I've met guys who, you know, they've either in a, a good position financially or maybe they've just got a very bachelor-like, blah, 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 a bachelor-like lifestyle, that was a tongue twister, that it's just very difficult for women to kind of see them in a way that's for something more long-term. And those kind of guys, believe it or not, they actually tend to feel used. They tend to feel kind of unwanted and unloved and can have just the same level of traumas as a guy who hasn't got that confidence with women, whereas they genuinely want to find someone that they can settle down with and they don't know what to do. And those will be the ones that will also go to a, a dating or a relationship coach to give them the, uh, the, the understandings or tools to consider when it comes to actually going on dates with people and maybe how they need to filter the women that they're dating more. And with saying that, you know, it means then that there really is quite uh, a difference between those two categories where you've got the guy who uh, he is able to date, he is able to meet a lot of women, he's got that confidence, but he struggles to be able to filter the women who want to maybe have something more long-term with him. And then you've got the other guy who actually isn't really looking to settle down. He is maybe looking to build his confidence 
Well, hell no, that's not very fair to say that they're not looking to settle down because they, they are, but it tends not to be the priority straight away because they need to develop that confidence first. They need to be better with women before they can even get to that position that they can go, you know what, I've met someone that I really like and I want to see where it goes. But those guys tend not to have that filter on women. They'll be more open to opportunities. They'll be more open to having things happen. So with that difference there, I mean, it'd be interesting to hear, certainly in the comments below, which category you put yourself into. Are you the guy who is looking to develop his confidence to be better with women so he can go on more dates? Or are you the guy who is going on a lot of dates and you are looking to find someone who you want to have a relationship with? Now, I also mentioned that, you know, with there being no right or wrong with these, guys certainly do tend to move from one or the other. You know, you'll have a guy who certainly developed his confidence. He's now able to go on lots of dates and then he now wants a girlfriend and then he'll go and have a girlfriend uh, that he's with her for X amount of time. And then unfortunately, things don't turn out well. They end up parting ways. The relationship breaks up and then he has to consider going back into the dating scene. So, you know, you find that guys will certainly bounce around depending on, you know, where they are in their lives, what they're looking for. But certainly just know that with the dating industry, you know, there is a great catering to both of those categories. And believe it or not as well, you know, which maybe maybe I don't think guys really know about it or maybe they're not really aware of it, but there are so many dating coaches that also cater to women. Women are also looking for the exact same thing, although the confidence angle of maybe if they were shy and they're looking to be more confident, it's probably not as much of a big deal uh, as it is compared to, I think, guys. But definitely you will get women who were incredibly introverted. And I've seen this where they're really introverted and they want to be able to go out and meet more guys because maybe whatever their lifestyle was or their upbringing, they have been shy. And then you've got the category of women who are looking to have flings or relationships of sorts, you know. So again, you've got those two categories and just know that if women can have dating coaches, absolutely men can too. And hopefully as this channel kind of grows, uh, I can remove the uh, taboo of, of men going to a dating coach. And my, my goal really, or one of the things that I would love to be able to achieve is that men consider going to a dating coach the same way that they consider going to a personal trainer. You shouldn't have to feel scared and, and worried about what people think. It should be a very casual thing, especially in this day and age when people are, I think, even more uh, intimidated by the idea of going up to a stranger and having a conversation. I think people are maybe a little too uh, too lost in their mobile phones. But I would love to hear in the comments below, which of these two categories do you put yourself in? And what are you doing about it? What kind of research are you doing to uh, find a dating coach or dating community that's going to be right for you to help you grow and develop? But I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. And if you can, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you are struggling to uh, find a dating coach or maybe you are working with a dating coach and you just need that extra accountability to make sure that the skills that you are developing is going to be kept more long term. Because trust me when I say I have known many men who have gone to dating coaches, spent a lot of money and then not kept the routine or skills that they've been taught and they go back to their old routine. So if you are looking for some kind of accountability or perhaps you want some help overcoming some trauma so you can start working on your dating life, then also have a look in the description below at my website where I do offer life coaching and integral eye movement therapy too. But other than that, Thank you very much for watching and uh, stay tuned for another video coming out from me.